Okay, so just a little update. I've put the the reeds through my ultrasonic cleaner, uh, through warm water, a little bit of fairy liquid, running through for about 10-15 minutes, and then once they've come out, it's kind of quite nice to then just dry them off thoroughly, and sometimes I get a little hair dryer, and just get really, really warm and dry. Uh, and also then you can just get a little blade, and you can scrape away very carefully any of the residue of the glue that's been holding on the the valves uh, and then just come a little polish up sometimes also you can get some fine very fine grit uh, sandpaper and just give it a little wipe over as well and that's just a nice way of, of getting the reeds really clean so there we are just kind of got my reeds set out here uh, the other thing I'm going to do is just have a look at the tip heights and just check, well, I just give a little ping as well, check that they actually sound. You can hear that they sound, they're not sounding dull. If they're not ringing, there's probably something not quite right, but if you can hear them pinging, that's a good sign. And just make sure I haven't got any tips that are really high, or kind of ones that are choking where they're gonna f like flush with the, um, the reed plate. So if you can't get your fingernail underneath the end, and give it a tiny little ping just just check that the reed tongue isn't sitting too far down and, and kind of choking a bit in the reed slot okay so once that's all done the next step is to work out what valves that we need to make these work so just go a little bit closer here so we've got a, quite a selection of sizes of reeds so what i've got here is my selection of different reed sizes so what I'll do now is work out what reeds need which valves so I'll use the the multi-layer vinyl valves so I just have a look at my little box of of reed valves or all, all, all different sizes I've got and work out what sizes I need that will cover up the the reed slot but not be too big so just kind of working out what you've got so sometimes I use say four or five or more different valves to suit the different size of reeds in a set like this. So the next thing I do, I'll get them, get all the reeds in order in terms of pitch and I'll lay them out and I'll lay out the, the valves I'm going to use for each reed uh, and the, before I start to attach the valves. So I'll show you my reeds in order with the valves I'm going to use for each one in the next little clip. Okay, so this is my selection of valves. So there's one, two, three, four different sizes. These ones down here didn't need any valves. So when I took the reed block out, they didn't have valves on. So the smallest, tiniest reeds, it doesn't really make much difference. So they don't have little valves on them, but the rest of them do. So that's my selection. So what I'll do now is get myself ready to start gluing on the valves. So I'll just get that ready. So there we are, that's all ready to go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is do a little bit of gluing. So I've got my uh, special shoe glue. It's um, bottom. It's from Poland, I think. Nice shoe glue. So I'm going to put a little bit on my top of my cup here. Just a little bit there. Put it back on. I've um, got a nice little brush. There go. And I've got my valves ready. I've turned all the reeds over so the little mark is on the other side because I'm going to put the reed valve on the underside of the reed just because I'm going to wax them in before putting on the top valve just in case you get any wax on the reed plate. So, a little bit of, get your brush, a little bit of glue and then I'm going to put about a, f a fifth of the length of the valve. Let's just pop that down a second. So I'm going to get my first reed and then I'm going to just butt it up to the rivet. So it's all there. Make sure it's nice and square. And I'm not going to trim, there where that's in, on, I'm not going to trim until I've let that dry a little bit. So I'm going to go along and just glue on my 
my valves and I'll show you what that looks like when they're all glued on. Okay, so that's all the all of the reeds have been revolved. So what I'm going to do next is to wax them into the reed block. So that'll be the next little clip. Okay, so oh, where, where am I? Yeah, down here. I'm going to do the uh, the waxing next. So I've got my reed block, and I've marked H and L for the higher and lower tuned middle reeds. So I'm doing the higher set here. So I'm just going to put those in. I'm going to start with the first largest reed here. So I've got my wax heating up in my little heater, little fine brush. So I'm going to get a little bit of wax and I'm going to put a careful, where should I that? that way? I'm just going to carefully run that wax along the sides of that reed chamber and on the bottom and a little bit on the top. I'm going to get my first reed and I've got the valve on the bottom. So I'm going to put that to the show. There we are. Put that into the first chamber. Push it down. Make sure it's nice and straight. And then I'm going to get my little brush. And I'm going to go around all of the edges with this little brush. So I've made sure the wax is up to the right temperature. So it's a nice molten wax, but it's not smoking because if it smokes, it's too much. And you'll end up with a fire. Which you don't want. So there we are. So I'm going to put the first wax, the first reed in. There we go. And I'll show you the. Oops. Yep. The first reed in. So for the second one, I'm just going to go around the sides again. So there we go. And the top. And again, valve at the bottom, push it down into the middle, just completely in the middle of the reed chamber. Go and get the weird little brush. Make sure you get the right one. I've got two on the go here. And again, go all the way around. Including across the top. And all the way down that side there as well. So a nice little coating. There we go. And then I'll put the put the valves onto the outer reeds, outer valves, once I've done all the wax just in case I get any wax on the reed plate. So what I'll do, I'll go along the whole line and then I'll show you what it all looks like and then I'll put the valves onto the top ones, top valves on and I'll show you that as well. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we are. So that's the way all of the reeds waxed in, which is quite nice. So I'll just put the valves on and I'll show you the finished end result. Just give me a tick. There we go. So that's all, all waxed in and all valved. And I've trimmed the valves to suit the length of the reed slot, if you like. Uh, but if I've trimmed the valve, I've also trimmed the second layer uh, by the same amount and then I try to keep the second layers nicely trimmed and looking good and so that's all that all looking nice so all I'm going to do next is do the other side that side 
it's exactly the same way and then I've got all the other there we go in my little I've got all the other reed blocks uh, waiting to be done as well but I'll do exactly the same process for all of the reed blocks so on the next video I'll just show you where I've got to with doing exactly this process with the reeds on all of the other reed blocks on this Galante and then once that's all done you can start the process of of making sure that it's all nicely tuned. Okay, thanks for watching.